for our LED random brightness project, we need first to get our Arduino board. Place it somewhere here. And then uh, get one LED. I'm going to place it here. And I also need one resistor, a 220 ohm resistor. I am going to place this in the negative side. And then connect that one, the negative side of the LED, to the ground pin of the Arduino board. And the positive side, I'm just going to connect one jumper wire and connect it to digital pin 3. So to arrange my wires here and basically this is the breadboard diagram for our project. Now let's go to the code of our random brightness for one LED project. Okay, so for the variables, we need um, a variable to hold our random values. We need random numbers from 0 to 255 since these are the uh, PWM values that we need. PWM values, uh, these are explained thoroughly in the uh, fade in, fade out project. Okay, so 0 to 255, that is an integer. So we can use int data type and let's name our variable as random led val we don't have to assign it any value yet since anyway um, in the loop function later on we will assign it random numbers and the second variable that we need will be for our led which is connected to digital pin 3 so that's in and let's give it a name let's say led pin with a value of 3 for digital pin 3 those are all the variables we need for the setup. We just need first to set up our LED pin as an output pin. So that's pin mode. LED pin and output. And then there's another thing we need to do in the void setup. Now every time we, um, or Arduino generates random numbers it gets it from a default seed like a basis where to get these random numbers so we need to change that one we need to give it a random seed okay and where do we get this it could be uh, the time of the day or a weekday or a value from uh, a pin an arena pin which is not connected to anything so for example, an analog pin which is not connected to anything will give us floating values from 0 to 1023. So let's get that seed. We type in analog read. So we are reading analog 0 and we just have to make sure that analog pin 0 is not connected to anything. That is all for our setup function. Let's now go to the loop. For the loop function, so the first thing we need to do here is to assign the random number. For our random led val, this variable, we now need to assign it a number from 0 to 255. Okay, so we simply need to type in that variable name, random led val. And then to get a random value, we type in the random function and then uh, the minimum number that we want and the maximum number that we want. However, I'm going to type here 256 because based on the syntax, uh, anything, anything we write here, okay, that number will be subtracted by 1. So basically, we get 0 and 255. Okay. Next is, so now we have our random led val, which contains a random number. We use that number to write to our uh, LED. So we type in analog write. 
So we just have to make sure that the LED is connected to a PWM pin for this to work. So analog right and then our LED pin where the LED is connected to and the value of its brightness, the PWM value. And we will get that from our random LED val variable. Okay. So that's it. We, um, we give it a delay. Uh, you can type in any number here. I would like to give it a delay of 100 milliseconds. So what happens is after 100 milliseconds, it will go back to the first code inside our loop function, which is random. So every 100 milliseconds, our random LED valve variable will get a random number from 0 to 256. And that number is what Arduino will use to write to our LED pin. So in this way, our LED will get random brightness every 100 milliseconds. So that's it. I'll just have to upload. Oh, check first that I have the correct board and correct board. Okay, and upload. Let's just skip that one. That's it.